Do you ever just wonder, like, groceries are so expensive, and then you realize what you've been throwing away, and you're like, oh my gosh, I have been throwing this away? This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. Well, today I was doing 16 pounds of ground hamburger meat. I started collecting the grease and I would strain it and then I would rinse it. So I took the strained stuff that I had and I put it back in the pot. I let it cool. I put it in the refrigerator for an hour, let it harden and cool. I scraped off the hard stuff. The other stuff was beef broth, right? Beef broth. And then I put the other stuff back, the fat, fat, which is tallow. You pay a lot of money for this tallow. And I put it back on the stove and I gently boiled it to purify it and clean it. And then I strained it. So this is what I strained off of this. Um, and this is what I've gotten. So this will harden and cure back to white. And I will, what will I use it for? I definitely will. I think I'll actually make it into bars. <gasps> Let's go do that now. This is my, I'm going to make tallow bar. Yep. There's always a change in this world. So what could I use tallow bars for? I actually use them when I'm making flour tortillas to grease my skillet. It, I'll show you sometime. It actually, it's so easy. Oh my gosh, I am getting so many bars. <gasps> Four tallow bars, people. This was an amazing idea. Thanks for the idea, you guys. They're done and it's time to wrap them and I just have to undo them and then I wrap them up individually and I will just use them to uh, coat the pan like drawing or I'll cut a section off and throw it in the skillet when I'm frying veggies. Free, free, free fat. So many of you guys were asking why I was rinsing the ground beef because the fat is flavor. Yes, that is totally true. The fat is flavor, but I'm freeze drying the ground beef. And in that case, you have to think of it totally differently because the fat goes rancid when you freeze dry it. And the freeze dryer can't remove the fat. And when the fat that stays on the meat, when the meat gets dry, the fat just kind of globs and stays there. So while I'm cooking it, I'm straining it, and then I am rinsing it. And as I'm rinsing it with warm water, I'm getting as much of the fat off of it as possible. So as you're freeze drying a product, you kind of have to think of the process totally differently, like the opposite. Instead of bringing the flavor in the beginning, you're preserving the ground beef with no flavor and you're infusing it when you're rehydrating it in the end. So think of it as, how do you want the ground beef to taste? I infused a pork chop just recently with a chipotle liquid sauce or like a soy sauce or a teriyaki sauce. And when it's rehydrating because it has absolutely no liquid in it, as it rehydrates, it soaks up all that flavor. And you can add your fats back at that time. So yes, I was removing all of the fat because I was freeze drying it. And next time I do this process, I'll video it for you. How I remove the fat and what I do. There you go. Now you know what I know. That's a really great question. Let me show you where I put this tallow because this tallow was a little bit soft. I didn't purify it as well. And hang on a second, but I wanted it to last. So what I did was this was, this was all the tallow I got out of, out of the 16 pounds. Um, what I did was I put it in a Ziploc bag, individually wrapped, so I can pull one out, put it in the fridge when I am using it. Now, in my fridge, don't cringe when you see the inside of my fridge because I'm getting ready to buy a new fridge. This is my tallow bar that I'm actively using. I just made bread with it, let me tell you, instead of butter, because I'm trying to get away from butter because it's so expensive, and if I can make tallow, and right, then it's cheaper to make bread. There you go. Now, this is what I did with all the tallow. So I have friends that butcher their animals. And when they butcher them, I ask them, where, what are you doing with the fat? And they're all like, I don't want the fat. And I'm like, yes, you do. And then they give it to me. And then I take it and I process it, which is very time consuming, very, very time consuming. And this right here is, and this is how I store my tallow right here. The stuff that has the white tinge, that is lard. 
So lard comes from a pig, and when it's properly, properly purified, it stores right here. And this is almost a year old, right? And yep. So I have two different methods. I am testing, I'm always testing something. So I'm testing the methods. One, if it is more, more stable, just canned and set on the table canned, which means it's put in the jar and then capped and left to cool, or if pressure canning it is more stable. So we'll see which one lasts. And then these are my little bars of tallow and they are hard. They're hard. Those over there, they didn't get purified as well as these did. These, I take my extra time, extra time on doing these. So those got stuck in the fridge and I'll use those first. Ooh, someone's here, gotta go. Thanks for asking the question, it was a great question. Don't go buy tallow, here's a secret. I asked my butcher um, at the meat market and I asked him at the grocery store meat market and they but they all told me that if I called them and told them to save the fat that that day or even for a week that they would freeze it if I wanted it for a week as they were trimming it but they would save all the fat trimmings from the meat or the pig whatever I wanted and they'd keep it separated for me and all I had to come in and it's a really low price and I could go home and make the tallow myself that is like a killer deal considering it's like really expensive and you're just buying, they're just saving you all the fat. I actually have a seven part playlist of this last summer when I literally made a whole bunch of tallow. So if you get the beef fat, um, you can look at my playlist and see exactly how I made all of the beef fat, including the different ways that I, that I canned it and saved it. There you go. Oh, it's so fun too. Mm -hmm.